Well, hi, Alex. How are you? Hey, Dad. I'm fine. How's Korea? Korea is totally unbelievable. Well, as uh, I was really, really, really impressed with this video. Uh, you and I talked about this uh, idea of doing a work of art in four minutes, which is pretty amazing and clearly succeeds in doing that. I just thought I'd give you a sort of funny reflection on my experience of trying to uh, respond to it the way you guys set it up which is that I, I kept looking for a way to upload a video of myself responding to it, and it just wouldn't do it. And at about 45 minutes into the thing, I discovered that although they don't tell you that right off, uh, uploading onto YouTube is impossible from Korea. <laughs> and that uh, YouTube, quote unquote, voluntarily blocks that feature of YouTube. I think, you know, the, the, there is a certain premise perhaps underlying your show that the world is a small place after all and that it's flat, but that is really not my experience in Korea. Well, let me say one thing, and that's, it's actually funny because I'm, I'm a little bit worried now that I haven't set this up technologically to record my voice, so we may have to do this again, but, um, you know, the show has been going gangbusters um, much better than I expected in the sense that the artwork has been exceptional. The people have been coming to the gallery and having these wonderful live experiences with it. But in fact, I've been having a problem getting people to participate on YouTube, which is why yeah, I asked you to do it because I could, you know, can make my dad do it easier than right, I can. I can do it. Random people that I don't know. Yeah. And right. it's been, we've been thinking a lot, the curators, about what are the barriers to entry, um, on YouTube, and you're saying there's this technological one, which is also national right. and you know cultural. Well, that's political. That's and not political. cultural. That's simply political. It's it's political oppression. But I've also been thinking that you know the level of work has been at such a high quality that the kinds of responses that people are used to doing on the internet, which are very quick and fleeting and not very considered, you know, people are feeling are like, oh, I have to rise. To the depth of this, yeah. You know, have to if I'm going to respond to Shuli's amazing video, I'm not going to do what I usually do on YouTube, which is, you know, a smiley face and, you know, this is amazing. Right. And it's actually keeping people from participating. And I think um, that is extremely interesting to me in relationship to thinking about elevating the level very, of conversation. Very. Definitely uh, a lesson in that, sweetheart. I mean, come on. Where people really, that they want to do live. They what? They, that part they want to do live, to comment on a work of art that has such depth, they don't want to do on a quick and dirty YouTube. Exactly, exactly. exactly. And, you know, what does it really mean to be put, put something with that level of depth and care and complexity onto this right. site that, you know, mostly holds, um, you know, things that aren't made like that. Well, uh, holds, you know, the dog that barfs uh, 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 nipples, you know. That kind of thing. <laughs> exactly. Right. I hope to God I don't have to see that. <laughs> but if you saw it, God bless you. Anyway, yeah. Dad, I'm going to go unless you have something else you want to say. That's about it. Okay, well, th thank you for being the guinea pig. The only person I could make do it is my own dad. I'm your father. I, I mean, know. what else do fathers do? <laughs>